G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back. Right, Thursday evening here in Australia, the market has gone down again as I suspected and we'll get onto the charts shortly that sort of have confirmed what I've thought but look, it still may play out differently, we'll have to wait and see but anyway, $2.3 trillion, so you know, we're above 2.3 which is good, just 2.32 uh, and we're not below 2.2 which is where it really hurts but again, we'll just wait and see, the charts don't look great at the moment. They don't look completely awful though either. Right, Bitcoin dominance, again, it's above 40, it's below 40, it's above 40, it's below 40. Bit of volume there, but we see this. You know, the volume will come in and then the market will dump and then the volume will come in and the market will dump. So again, just be wary is what I'm saying. Never financial advice, as I always say. This is just my personal opinion. You've got to work out what's right for you. Bitcoin, still above 48,000, which is nice, but you know, we're not above 50,000. We were at 49,000 last night, so we have come down a little bit. And ETH gas price is $4.99. So that's pretty cheap considering where we've been, but still not cheap enough. All right, what's done well in the last 24 hours? The market is down, but we can see XRP, look out, made a bit of a move. Right, near protocols done well. Aave back above $220. I mean, that got down to 170 something, I think. I can't even remember, but it was definitely down. But again, this all looks good today. It's where they're going to be in the next couple of days. Uniswap is something I want to have a look at uh, and, and we're going to talk about very shortly. But look, there's some nice gains there considering the market's really kind of stagnant, down half a percent. What about the losses then? What hasn't fared well in the last 24 hours? Right, well, Olympus Dow, Terra Luna's down a little bit, Harmony. Look, we got some losses there, nothing too major. I mean, 10% kind of hurts, but again, you know, Olympus Dow has still had its moves where it's done quite nicely. All right, what I want to do is have a look at the Bitcoin chart. So here's what I've been talking about on the daily. Like I said, I think, you know, chances are we come down, and look, I still think we most likely are coming down into this range here. Just, you know, are we going to come down into this range here? That really is a question. But what I want to get onto, because I've talked about the daily for a while, like I said yesterday, we talked about the four hour. We had the breakout. And what I said is we wanted this blue line to form. So we get the breakout, we come back down and retest this, and then off to the races. But unfortunately, what it's looking like at the moment is we had the breakout, it was a fake out, we've come back down under, and now we're using this as resistance. So is this now going to drop down to sort of here and we bounce around in here before we go low? At the moment, it's not looking great, but it's still early stateside time. We've got to wait and see what the day sort of brings. This is the four-hour chart, so this can turn around. Might be under on the four-hour, but, you know, on the daily, uh, hopefully it can sort of, you know, find some support and then push up. But at the moment, yeah, it's just not looking great. But look, there is some good news out there. Like I said, it's not always bad news. There's still money to be made, even when things are going down. Uniswap has finally come to Polygon and it sent Matic uh, to a new all-time high only just it's peaked its head over but Uniswap's already had a bit of a pump as well and we saw that before on the daily gain so let's have a look at Matic like I said look at this massive pendant here I mean if this did play out and I'm not saying it will but if it did you basically take this and pop it on the top of here it takes Matic to $272 now I'm not sure it can do another move like this but if this bull market plays out until next November, then maybe, just maybe, a very slight chance. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to sell your Maddox going to $200 anytime soon, but if this was to play out, it goes to $272. That's pretty crazy. I'm not so sure about that, but look, we have had a massive accumulation here, a very long, you know, almost a year long, I mean, May, all the way to now, accumulation, and it's just you know, tipping on there, kind of, you know, $2.64, $2.70 ish. And look, this is similar to the Bitcoin chart we we're looking at before. We didn't quite get it. We were hoping this was going to be the breakout and nah, it fell down, came back down and tested basically the lows here. Not quite, but close enough. Now it's had the breakout, come back and retested this and now it looks like it's off to the races. So there is still hope that that's what Bitcoin does here. It breaches back above, comes back down, retests this and then off to the races. But look, no one really knows. We're all sort of hoping. That's what we all want. But as I said in the last you know, few videos and for a while now, I'm just not sure we've felt the max pain. This was pretty close, but it was short-lived. You know, Again, I'm just wondering if maybe we don't go lower. But also, on that good news, look, Uniswap has basically been traveling sideways all year. Look at that. 
look where we are. You could say from January 29th to where it is now, it's basically uh, just been, you know, consolidating. So is uni getting ready to have a big, massive move? I mean, look, you know, layer two is 100% what Uniswap needed. The fees there are outrageous, like hundreds of dollars to make a transaction on there. Now, they're not. Well, they're about to be not. We'll have to wait and see. I haven't looked into the exact timings, but I know, look, they voted on it a while ago, and 93% of uh, the voters in Uniswap you know, voted to get on Polygon. So I think it's bullish for Polygon and bullish for Uniswap. I think it, you know, yeah, I'm not sure. It's hard to say who it's going to be more bullish for. I think maybe Polygon, but Uniswap was really up there for a while and just you know it was the talk of the town and then it just got really brutalized by those fees so uh, keep an eye out for both of those things look in the news side of things there's not really a whole lot going on at the moment and again that's why it's when you're not hearing all these positive news stories that's what this kind of stuff is it's all just sideways everyone gets bored and they get out but when it's boring and no one else is buying i.e it's at its you know kind of i won't say rock bottom but at lows that's when the big money's made. I'm not telling you to go out and buy uni. All I'm saying is there's a lot of accumulation here. That's what this looks like. Accumulation, accumulation, accumulation. Now we're going to have to wait and see. Is you know Uniswap getting onto Polygon, i.e. Matic uh, Network, the catalyst to really you know push it up to the levels where everyone thought it was going to go. When it came out, everyone thought this is going to be a couple hundred dollars for sure. And it made it up to, what, $30, $40 or something? 40 And now it's trading down at sort of 16 And only a couple of days ago, it was down at 13 So just something to keep an eye out for. Again, not a lot going on. The weekend is coming upon us. Traditionally, weekends aren't great, but, you know, that changes. Sometimes it's horrible during the week and pumps on a weekend, and then it'll change to it's horrible uh, on the weekend and the early part of the week, and it's pumping midweek. And if you can kind of pick those cycles, because they usually last for a little while, a week or two, even sometimes a couple of weeks, then you can find the best times to buy and things like that. That's more trading, swing trading and things like that. I do a little bit of it, not a whole lot. I'm much investing so much easier just have cash sitting on the side wait for good dips buy the dips don't put in all your cash because if it keeps dipping further you can't put in any more and then you know you enjoy the highs so much better when you just constantly buy the lows and look the normal dollar cost averaging strategy still works but again this is just me if i had a hundred dollars a week and it could be ten dollars a week one dollar a week whatever you just you know divide this up so let's say a hundred dollars a week and I'm not sure where the market's going. All right, well, I put 30% of my $100 in every week into whatever coins I want, and then divvy it up again how you want. Me, I want 30% minimum of Bitcoin all the time, and then I might go chasing other ones. But again, we're in a market where we're just unsure, maybe it's going down. 30% of what you have weekly, monthly, fortnightly, whatever, to go into the actual coins you like, and the other 70%, so i.e. the other $70, just put in cash sitting on the side waiting to see really big dips or waiting to see a change in the market and then that's how you can buy things at a better discount as opposed to just i got a hundred dollars every week i just buy bitcoin and if it keeps going down and down and down then yeah you're not going to have a whole lot to buy when the bottom is finally in other than maybe a hundred dollars whereas if you do it my way then you'll have money but again that's yeah, that's a little bit more advanced. That still is not a 100% guarantee the best way to do it. You know, the best way to do it is just to, you know, have some as opposed to none. After that, now we're getting into, you know, nuances and things like that. And again, I never offer your financial advice, just my personal opinion, but that's what I'm doing at the moment. I don't know where the market's going. I suspect it's going to go lower. So I'm putting in 30% of my sort of weeknightly, fortnightly, fortnightly money into coins and the other 70 percent is just sitting on cash just waiting to see what's going to happen and i did uh have to rebalance my portfolio like i said a little while ago i didn't have anywhere near enough cash now i've got my minimum 10 percent, and i'm trying to keep that up to somewhere between 10 and 20 percent. so if big dips come i we see another big 30 percent dip from dip from here i've got some cash that i can throw in but again I'm not going to go as aggressive as I was before because I've been caught out, you know, aggressively buying things when they're starting to pump and too aggressively buying things on the way down, not thinking that they could go down a whole lot lower. All right, that's it from me. Stay safe. 
Be kind to one another. Maybe we're all getting ready to get on the game train. Ugh, fingers crossed, I hope so, but I'm not sold on it just yet. I'll see you next time.